when Amanda was assaulted, um, I thought it was a singular incident. I didn't have any idea that this was something going on for many, many, many years. And I had no idea that my other daughter had been assaulted by him. So. Another reason Suzanne didn't think to ask Jessica? Sometimes she was in the room for Jessica's treatments. So when Jessica told her mom Larry abused her too in 2016, Suzanne's mind starts racing back through Jessica's appointments. Larry had a routine, have Jessica change into loose shorts, lay down on the exam table, on her stomach. Larry would drape her with a towel. I would be looking at that as, oh, he's, he's, he's respecting her modesty by covering her. Of course, she has the loose shorts, but his hands, I would never have thought that his hands would be under her shorts. As a mom, I, I don't see how somebody could, you know, how you could catch him. And remember, Suzanne's not just a mom. She's a doctor. And strictly as a doctor, Suzanne was curious. Only because I was a physician, I was able to get up and say, you know, show me what you're doing. And then he carefully showed me where his hand was, which was nowhere near her vagina or labia or anywhere near her genitals. It was on her thigh. Now, normally, at least one of Larry's hands would be hidden from parents' view. To them, it always looked like Larry is doing a regular sports massage or adjustment. And the fact that he's working with the lower body isn't weird, given the injuries he deals with. What parents could not see was the actual abuse, either because Larry's hands went under the towel or because he would block their line of sight with his body. 